Okay, so this is the second part of this video because the dog was at the door and I didn't know how to deal with the dog and get him to stop filming. So anyways, we'll learn as we go on doing this. Okay, but where we are at, we are at balancing and we were just talking about the life wheel and so here's where we're at. Um, so, where am I? Okay, so Jesus is our role model for time and energy. You know, um, Jesus even took a break. He went out on the mount to pray and um, he tells, God tells us in the Bible that we should take Sundays off to rest. Our bodies are limited. Our time is limited. Our, our energy and our attention, they're all limited. And we only have 24 hours in a day, but guess what? So does everybody else. So if there's other people who are bodybuilding and exercising and accomplishing this, 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 and this, it means we can too. It's just about time management, energy management, getting rid of the things we don't need and um, adding new and good and positive things and equipping ourselves with knowledge and energy and friendships and support and all the good things we need and getting rid of some of the bad things. So we're gonna do that and work on that balancing but with the Christian perspective, Christian worldview. Okay, then fun on your own and fun with people. And what that whole fun thing basically means is that's exactly what we wanna do. We don't want this game to be something that's gonna burn you out, that you're just gonna be like, oh gosh, I have to do this or I have to do that. We don't wanna make anybody do anything. If you wanna do it, great, join, come, be a part of it watch the video, come to the cooking class, go meet us for a walking trip. That's all fun, you know? Maybe we decide we're all going antiquing or we're gonna go garage sailing or whatever to get our steps in. Participate or don't participate, that's fine. Nobody's gonna give you a guilt trip. Nobody's gonna make you feel bad about that. We're all gonna encourage one another to try your best and do what you can. But you are the one who's in charge of that balancing act and what you have time and energy and effort for and which, where you wanna put that. You only have so much. Okay, so um, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun though. I imagine it will. Okay, so here's the last part. Do you wanna play the game? Um, and I mean, I, I think you really need to think about that. I've been in mental places where I have had adrenal fatigue, I was stressed out, I've had cancer twice. I was extreme, I was overweight, I weighed 187, I'm 156 now. Um, I have been in places where I was spinning in so many plates and I had so much on my plate that I was overwhelmed and overtaxed and overburdened and I just didn't have the help and the support and the many things that I needed. And if you're there, we can still work and get you, you know, where we're at, but it might be harder. Now I'm in a totally different place than I was when I had like six kids under the age of 12. Now I'm only homeschooling two. This is like our 20th year. I'm only homeschooling two kids, which is so much easier. And um, I don't have as many kids in the house, not as many shoes to pick up. My life is so much different. So all of us are gonna have our different um, obstacles and our different challenges. And what I want you to do is just do the best you can. Maybe you're only making one little change one tiny little change per week. Maybe you're only making one little change per month. But the thing is, all these little changes are like strategy pieces on a game board. You're gonna be moving and progressing and getting better, not worse. As long as you're moving forward, you're not moving backwards. Um, and so we just really need to change stinking thinking and renew your mind. And once again, that goes back to the Christian perspective, you know? That's what the Bible asks us to do. And so, um, which obviously is God. So we need to work and be ready for the challenge. And we need to ask God to reveal his truths. And what does he want for us? Does he want us to be unhappy and depressed and letting our bodies go, letting our lives go? Does he want us to be energized? Does he want us to be working for him? Does he want us to be you know, the hands and feet of Jesus, we can't do that if we're laying in bed, you know, binge watching Netflix. I mean, we need to figure out that balance and decide whether we wanna do this. So the question is, are you up for this task? Are you willing to put in a little bit of effort? You know, are you willing to learn? Are you willing to stretch yourself a little bit and try something new, even though other things haven't worked in the past? 
Um, are there reasons that you should improve? I mean, none of us have, you know, arrived. None of us are perfect. All of us have areas that we can work on. Um, and so if you aren't going to participate because you have too many excuses, like I'm too busy or, you know, my genes, uh, you know, biological genes aren't like so-and-so's or um, I've got too much on my plate right now or I'm just too tired or I have this medical condition or that medical condition. If you're just going to be filled with a bunch of excuses, then maybe this isn't the time for you to join. But if you can say, you know what, I'm going to try just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, and I'm going to push off some of these excuses and I'm going to work on these steps that Carrie's going to take me through with these other people, then we're going to make progress. And so I would just encourage you to try, to just try a little bit. And, and what's the worst that could happen? I mean, what? You learn a little bit, you have a little bit of fun, you gain some knowledge, you meet some people. It's, it's a win-win in my mind. It's a, it's a win-win game. Okay, so come on this journey with us. That's the last thing. Just try this with us. Um, ask me questions if you have questions. You know, talk to people. We're, we're going to take it step by step. This is just giving you the outline of where we're going and why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, and I want to leave each time with a scripture and an assignment. So our scripture this week is John 3.30. It's from the Berean Study Bible. And it says, he must increase, I must decrease. And I could have chosen all kinds of scriptures, but this is the one that I really love because it's a mental one for me. This isn't about me. It's not about you. It's about God. And so how can we best glorify God? How can we best put ourselves on this earth to do his work and his will and how, how can we do that and so I'm looking at Hudson he's like tired of taking the video so anyways uh, he must increase we must decrease and I like that image in my mind too of, of God getting the glory but also for me that I must decrease that was a weight thing I think, um, you know, I, I just let myself go over the years and I just kept eating and I didn't care and I made excuses and I, I was really good. I can get it all into that some other time. But I like the idea of I must decrease in my weight, in, in my stress, in my problems, all that can decrease. And then I can increase for the Lord. So just that's our scripture. If you want to put it on a little three by five card or something and put that off to the side. We're gonna to try to have a lesson each week or each time, I'm not sure how often these are gonna come out, and a scripture each time. And now here is your assignment and we are almost to the end of this video. You're welcome, Hudson, he's like happy. This is our first video and um, obviously I had a few notes, but we're new at all this. So the assignment is get a three ring notebook. And that is as easy as it's gonna be this time. Um, just get a three ring notebook, I like college ruled, but you're just gonna to wanna to get that. Get some nice pens if you like drawing and making doodles or pictures or whatever. But that is the only assignment that I'm gonna give you now. Our next topic is, so that you're ready for it, is gonna be hopes, dreams, and fantasies. And you're gonna be like, what is she talking about? But that is, that is the title of the next one, hopes, dreams, and fantasies. And so hopefully this gave you some insight. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, you know, you can message me through Facebook or Instagram, or if you have my phone number and um, you can make a phone call, whatever. I'm available, I'm happy to help. And hopefully you're gonna join this journey and we're all gonna succeed and win at this. All right, love you guys. We'll talk to you later, bye-bye.